representing millions of millennials and Gen Xers who are extremely worried about our spring, our aquifer, and what this will do to our environment here in, in, in this area. Um, this isn't just going to affect this area, though. this is affecting all of Florida. And so with the petitions and the outcry of the public, we hope that you guys make the right decision in not approving this permit. Um, Nestle is not going to, Nestle doesn't care about our resources. They just want the water and they just want to make their, their profit. And we all know that. Um, neither company, Nestle or Seven Springs Water Company, pays to the state uh, for the water. So this to me is just astounding. Um, again, like I said, this doesn't just affect this area, this affects all of Florida. Um, there are millions of gallons of water being pumped out of our aquifer every single day in all of Florida. Um, like some people have said, springs that used to run, that used to be beautiful, that used to be places where people could go to, to recreation, are no longer available. There are springs that I didn't get to see because they are no long, they are no longer giving water. Um, and if we continue to allow big corporations and other people and places to pump this water out, your grandchildren, my grandchildren, will not get to even know what a spring was except for the pictures. Um, when I first saw the pictures of the springs and I didn't really realize that um, it, they were so beautiful, I couldn't wait to go. So my first place was Jimmy Springs. That was what everybody talked about. It was where all of the pictures that I saw um, of Springs came, and so I couldn't wait to go. When I got there, um, I couldn't help but cry uh, because the pictures that I saw from what was taken a little, you know, a little over 20 years ago, it's not what it looks like today. And it's continue to, we're continuing to degrade it, and we're continuing to allow permits to go through without realizing what we are doing to our springs. And I cannot and will not sit idly by while Nestle tries to win this fight, which they will not, because we all know that you are going to do your part in making sure that this is not something that happens. And we will make history here. You guys will make history by not allowing this permit to go through and making sure that our grandkids, your grandkids, and everybody that comes after generations and generations can see the beautiful and the wonders of the world. So please take into consideration that all of the us young people that I am here representing today that 14-year-olds, 12-year-olds, 10-year-olds are, are asking you not to do this. Um, I am a professional mermaid by trade and go to many uh, parties that involve children. And when I go, I talk to them about the springs and I share with them the wonders that are right here in our backyards. And let me tell you, they absolutely 100% are scared that this will not something that this will be something that their kids, that their friends won't ever get to experience. So right now we all know that uh, our aquifer and the water volume is down 30%. Um, I took my mom to the springs, to Jenny Springs specifically in the Santa Fe River, two months ago before she moved to Hawaii. And when we were going down the springs. Um, along with other people, they couldn't help but say, wow, the level is so low that our feet are touching the floor. This is not okay. And allowing Nestle to pump a million, well, nearly half a million uh, gallons of water, not counting other permits that are out there and that are going to be allowed to, that you guys will have a say in, are, are going through. I mean, this area, these areas here in Florida are growing, and people and corporations and companies are coming all over to all of the water management districts asking for permits. 
every single day. And most of these permits are allocated. Um, I've done my research and a lot of the water management districts have not said no to many of these permits. Most of them go through. So I think that we need to realize that this isn't something that, our, our aquifer isn't something that is always going to re regenerate if we don't allow it to. So please do us right, do the public right, and make the right decision. Thank you.